Well, we're, we're going up to the mountains today. We got everything loaded. Got the dogs, got water. It's gonna be fun. We're going through an area. All these big old rocks up there. There's a house back behind us. Uh, I don't see how they would like living out here because look at what happens some boulders go across the road. But this really looks snaky through here and there's a house down that way surrounded by all these rocks. I bet they have a lot of snakes. It's pretty anyway. This is one of our stopping places. We let the dogs out, walk around. This got a different environment. All through coming up this road, it's like different environments. And we're gonna go up that canyon, up to the mountains. Yeah, there's water down there a little bit. Yeah. It's just like a completely different environment down there in the bottom of that ditch. I think there is a trail around here. Yeah, yeah I'll see water right down there. There he is. Can get a drink of water down here. Huh? I can get a drink. Yeah. You want to take them down? Yeah. See, it's just like a different environment down here for animals. That's way down there. I think we got some water and there goes Tiger. Toby wants to go down but he wants to be with me too. It's fun to let the dogs out and play. Toby's over there trying to find another trail down. There is a trail over there. It's sure it's fun getting out. Here comes everybody up. I think Belle's having a good time. This is her, her first time out here. I can hear water running now. It must be more water down there. It sounds like a waterfall. You hear you hear all that water down there? Yeah. Hold me. Toby can't hear. <laughs> He's he probably went down to find you. We'll have to wait a minute and get him back up here. Well, he went right by me. Oh, did he? Yeah. I see him. Well, this elk crossing here. Oh, is that what that is? Elk? Yeah. And they're going up right through there. Oh, right through there. Yeah. Their trail goes up. Oh, okay. Towards that old homestead over there. Yeah, and there's a homestead over there. Well, uh, it was like a dugout. Yeah, there's not much of it left. We was yeah. over there a long time ago. Yeah, we found it over there. There's a lot of dugouts through this valley. I can hear the water. Sounds pretty. And here's another little animal trail. This is an alligator juniper. These trees, they can live for a long, long time. These are called Spanish daggers, and they're getting ready to bloom. I wish they were open so people could see them. But when they're babies, they're hard on the horse's hoof. If you step on the baby, uh, pretty hard. But anyway, they're pretty. Oh boy, Belle's having a lot of fun playing in the sand. We have to watch where we walk because there's small sinkholes here and great big ones. 
around this area. There's a little group of trees right through there. And that's where that little homestead was. And uh, there's still debris over there from it. So we looked around. But they had a dugout and it collapsed. We found the dugout. It was interesting find. This is uh, more or less the foothills here. We're not up in the mountains really yet. It, still pretty warm down in here uh, and it's only about nine o'clock in the morning uh, when we get up there we'll be up about eight nine thousand feet at the top of this canyon uh, it's probably still a little bit cool up there but uh, there's no wind today so it feels like springtime and we brought a coats just in case yeah. uh, we're gonna head up there and maybe look for some carbon wood uh, some aspen uh, we was looking for juniper down, uh, junipers down in here, the regular juniper and pinyon pine <clears throat> and uh, uh, alligator juniper. If we find any that uh, that's just already down, you know, pieces down, that's what she usually likes to pick up. Especially the juniper that's been in the fire, she likes the look of it. Yeah. Uh, when, yeah. You know, when she's carving it, it just has a different look when it's been through a fire. And, uh, anyway, we're going to look around here a little bit, and we're going to head on up higher. Yep. Stop again sometime. It's nice out here hiking. Just on the other side of this mountain here, we, there's lower mountains behind it. We was hiking one time, and we found this old rusty cylinder, half buried. And we thought, gosh, what is that? So we pulled it up out of the dirt, and... Uh, we thought we found a treasure. We rattled the cylinder, the can, and there was something in it. So we opened it up and it was real hard. It was rusted shut. So we got that uh, open and there was just magazines in it. And I thought, well, who in the world bring a can out here and leave their magazines? And it looked like it was 50 years old. Anyway. <laughs> We sure thought we had a, a something there. Once past this cow guard, it's all open land. <laughs> 